well, it was time to buy a daily driver. So why not a cheap luxury plush 300C? Uh, I got this for really cheap and it's got an issue with the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off, get it in the garage, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, now we have our car in the garage. I have started pulling apart. It took me about 15 minutes to get to this point. I really need to, not really, I need to, next I need to get and take the heat shield and exhaust manifold off. I'm kind of worried about that. That's usually like the worst process. But once I have that off, the head will actually come right off. It's only got the yeah, valve train still on it, which isn't hard to pull off. So we'll get this up. I'll try and get that. I got to remove an engine mount, which really sucks. And then I got to remove the exhaust manifold and uh, should pop right out. All right, so I was thinking, I'm like, you know, if this thing needs a piston, I can just take and pop the oil pan off real quick and pop that piston out and replace it, right? Well, let me show you what real quick looks like. Oil pan, transfer case. Axles go through the oil pan and the transfer case bolts to the oil pan, so. It's gonna be a lot of work. There's no way around it. So, hmm. We'll finish getting the head off and then we'll address it from there, but I'm like 90% positive I'm gonna have to pull this pan out and transfer case so I can get it running again. I think the piston is chunked, but don't know until I actually get there, right? All right, I'm just getting ready to pull this head now. So let's pull it. I'll let you guys see what I find when I see it. Let's see where I can set you that you'll see it. To set you. Just sit there for a minute. Let's see if I am right. Did it drop a valve? Survey says that. Oh gosh. This is an issue. I was right. Alright. So. It's munched. Let's get that off there. So you can see it's munched, unfortunately. Other pistons don't look bad. I need to vacuum that off real quick. But, check it. I don't know how well you can see that. That valve seat fell out. So you can look up here and see how that valve is nice, valve is nice and flat. There, you can see that one is recessed. Oops. That sucks. So, I'm going to pull the other spark plugs and make sure everything's kosher, but I think this side was the only one. Dang. And I need to order a piston, so that means the oil pan needs to come off. You can see that piston's chunked. It got into the ring land. Yucks. All right, I'm gonna get this sucked out real quick so that it doesn't uh, seep down into the pan. All right, so bad news. You can kind of see it got into the sleeve just a little bit. Nothing terrible. I think I can clean it up. So I'll pop that piston out. I'll get a new one ordered and clean it up. It's nothing I'm really concerned about. I'm not trying to run big numbers with this car. I just want to drive it, so... I think I can hone that out. It doesn't really catch on my finger. It's more just kind of like polished lines into it. So I'll be really careful honing everything. We'll be really careful honing everything and try and just get it to be running condition. So I'm gonna get a head ordered and we will get a piston ordered. Unfortunately, that sucks. It is what it is. Cheap car. Okay, so I got the piston out of that cylinder finally. Took me a couple of days, kind of fighting back and forth. I ended up having to pull the whole freaking front diff out of the car. But check this out. So when it smacked that uh, valve seat, it broke the ring lands on two sides. That side's a lot worse, but it obliterated it. It was kind of tough to come out. Surprisingly enough, that cylinder looks pretty good. I'm going to hit it with just a home, just kind of clean it up a little bit and make it look a little better and have some cross hatching because it's got some 
as witness marks. I'll show you. I'll just show you actually. Let's do this. And it is a mess in here too. So you can see vertical lines. I can't fill them, but I don't like it. So I'm going to clean up that cylinder a little bit and then I'm going to stick a head on it. But holy crap, this is one of the worst things to work on. <laughs> Pulling everything off has been such a pain, but uh, what do you do? Yeah. Nice little front differential. That's a pain that's bolted to the side of the oil pan. Go figure, right? So I have a new piston and I have a new rod. Uh, they already come together. So this guy right here, I'm going to check ring gap on the, the uh, top two rings. Make sure that's good. And then I will get that in there. And I guess hang that up on the wall and just keep it as a memento or a trophy or something. You know, one of those things. It's just interesting, but. All right, so check it. I got it in. I got the piston in and I kind of got the board cleaned up. I got it cleaned up well enough at least, but one of those things is not like the other. So I think I'm just going to knock all the carbon off the top of this side and then I'll get a new head on there and, uh, We'll, we'll give it a shot and start it. I don't know how compression is going to be. I had to do quite a bit of hand honing on that thing. Kind of watched it with the uh, measurements, but I did the best I could. So hopefully it doesn't smoke like a sieve. I think it should be all right. I went ahead and put the oil pan, or sorry, the windage tray back on and the oil pickup tube. I have these bolted together right now. I'm going to try and put it back in together. I took them out in separate pieces. So this is the, that's the front differential that's bolted to the oil pan. I just sank three bolts on it, kind of the hard ones to get to. We'll see how hard it is to get it up in there. This one just moves out of the way. So I'll bend it out of the way and get it up. And hopefully it doesn't find me too much. Hopefully. All right. From what you can see, I have aged horribly, which means it's been a few weeks since I filmed anything. Um, I waited for the head. It took me a few weeks to come in. In the meantime, I took and cleaned up all the pistons on this side. So now they all look, you know, similar. Uh, pulled the exhaust manifold out because I wanted to see that. You can see that there is crap in there. I'll stick a vacuum in there and try and suck some of that out just so it doesn't cause any issues in the future, either plugging that cat up or ruining it. Um, I'm going to take and finish scraping up, not scraping it up, but scraping off the gasket material because I have a new gasket. Oops. Shove my finger right in your face. So we got a new gasket. Look, look at this head. I think it's clean. It's been uh, remanufactured, so it's resurfaced. All the valves have been gone through. It's got new valve seats. I think it was supposed to, at least it said. And then new valve stem seals, so it shouldn't leak. But I'm hoping that uh, this cylinder doesn't cause issues now, given that it just went through hell and back. I do have to get a new intake manifold for this car. Um, that one's got a bunch of metal in it. I, I can't get it out. So I, I contacted a local shop. They said they have one. We'll see. Okay, so at this point, we got the exhaust manifold on with the uh, heat shield. Figured I'll do that before I put it in there and try and fight with this thing. Got it cleaned up. The head gasket is on there. I got all of those little pieces out. Oh, actually, I'll show you this. It's pretty crazy. So those are all metal pieces out of there from the valve seat just broke up and hanging out in there so vacuum tubs I vacuumed some of them out and then I used a magnet to get out what the vacuum wouldn't take quite lovely huh so let's get this head on and get it torqued down all right so the head is on and the valve train is all hooked up everything seems to be fitting nice I probably should resize those push rods but they seem to be all right so I'm gonna leave them for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the valve cover on 
and then I need to just hook up the exhaust. And then all I'm waiting on is the intake manifold now, and then I can start this thing and hear it, and see if I did is, and see if what I did is even worth it. <laughs> all right, so since I need a new intake manifold on this car, because my current manifold is actually full of metal, it's full of like these little bits. I figured because they're a few hundred dollars a piece, I'm actually going to just take and try and separate mine and fix it. Initially, I was gonna take it, fill it full of like gasoline and brake clean and hopefully get all the little pieces out. But there's a seam on it and guess what? I have a heat gun. So I'm gonna strip everything off of this and I'm going to just try and heat it up and separate these seams and see if we can salvage it because either way it's garbage, right? So if I can save it, perfect. If not, man, well, it was worth a shot. We tried something new. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove like the fuel lines, the map sensor, various little things here and there. But well, as you can see, that was a massive fail. I sat here for like an hour trying to heat it up and separate it. It didn't work, it just more got hot, kind of melt a little bit, cracked, whatever. I guess I'll just get one ordered and then we will get this are going and out of the way. Crap, I was really hoping to have this done today, but oh well. Okay, so I ended up getting me a new, to me at least, intake manifold, one that doesn't have a bunch of crap on the inside. Uh, it, it has stuff, but it needs to be wiped out. That's fine. It's better than what I was dealing with with that one over there. Uh, in the meantime, I took and actually cleaned this guy up. This was so disgusting, so. Uh, I cleaned it up so it can fell in like the next 30 minutes. Cause that's how things go. Uh, most of this is all back together now. I'm gonna get that intake manifold on. I just need to put axles and all that in, but I wanna start it first and kind of see as well as I need to, I need to put some more fluid in that front differential. When I pulled it out, it drained most of it and only holds like a quart. So I don't wanna seize that up. That would really suck. All right. So I'm gonna hurry, knock this out, get it down. I'm going to get some spark plugs in this car and then we're gonna start it and then see if what I did really worked or if it's just a piece of shit, so. Okay, so everything is on. I cranked it over a few times trying to build oil pressure. Battery's dead. Ish, it doesn't crank very fast. So I got my jump pack over here charging up a little bit. I'm just gonna go for it and see. I, uh, I, I hope it will run. I hope it runs, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't not know. All right, here goes nothing. That's just the liquor pumping back up. There's no cool in it, so I'm not gonna run it too long, but it uh it's idling. You can hear all the lifters begging for oil. Woo. So I'm gonna shut this down for now, we'll get some cooling in it. And uh, we'll get it completely back together now. All right, so I just got the thing down and I just went for a drive. This thing runs awesome. As you can hear, it no longer is making all those crazy noises. Idling nice and smooth. It drives really nice. Um, it actually pulls pretty decent. And uh, right now, just watching coolant and it's, it's holding pretty good, especially after the drive. This thing's awesome. It's going to be a great daily. And then a great backup from when the Mustang blows up. <laughs> no. So, super excited about this. Wanted to get out of the way so I can get the Camaro in and uh, get some stuff. I'll show you in this one if you're paying attention this far. 
I got pistons for the Camaro wing. So I got Gen 4 pistons. Should be fun. I, I get it. People are going fast on Gen 3 stuff now, but I want to go even faster. 